Is the game a staple of your game night? But are you tired of dropping subtle hints to your friends as to which card to play? Are you sick of working together to beat the game? Then you need a game to go face to face with them! In the game face to face, on each turn you will play two or more cards from your hand. But wait, but there's, wait more. there's more! Only one can go into your opponent's piles while the rest go to yours. But wait, but there's, wait more. there's more! To place on a pile it has to be either a lower card number for a descending pile or a higher card number for the ascending pile. But wait, but there's, wait more. there's more! Play to your pile only, pick up two cards. But wait, but there's, wait more. there's more! If you play to your opponent's pile, then pick up until you have six cards. But wait, but wait there's, there's, more. there's more! Win by discarding all 58 of your cards. Don't trust us, trust our satisfied customers. I was getting really sick of Matt trying to tell me what cards to play using his mind. Like, what's he think I am, freaking psychic? <sighs> it was putting a really big strain on our game night and ultimately our friendship. Playing the game face to face really strengthened our bond as friends. And I cannot wait for our next game night. I was really getting aggravated with John not being able to read my mind at game night. I was just simply putting my ideas in my head and trying to telegraph it to him, and he had no idea what I was trying to tell him. At one point, I just gave up and I started speaking to him and trying to tell him what to do, and he still didn't understand what was coming out of my mouth. Well, the game face to face really rekindled our friendship. In fact, I know he can now read my mind because he's able to beat me at every single game that we've played so far. The Game Face to Face, published by Panasaurus Games. Beat the game, but on your own terms. Get faced.